Love y'all. Just wanted to let you know before we start this that today it's going to be a really, really good day. It's already started off really good, but today is going to be a very, very great day. Whether you're at work, whether you're at school, whether you're at home, whether wherever you're at is going to be great. So enjoy it, appreciate it, and take in the moments. Anyway, somebody who it doesn't look like they'll be taking in the moments this upcoming Sunday is Lamar Jackson. Now, when Lamar Jackson went down with his ankle injury and they officially uh, diagnosed it as an ankle sprain, they didn't say it was a high ankle sprain. They never said it was a low ankle sprain either, but they said it wasn't a high ankle sprain, so we had to assume it's a low ankle sprain, but regardless, it's an ankle sprain. I said from jump, he ain't playing. He's not playing against the Packers. And I don't see him practicing this week, but uh, yeah, I don't think he plays against the, the Packers. Uh, And we've seen it before to where players have missed practice for the whole week and they still ended up suiting up. Now, if Ravens are smart about this, which it seems like they're going to be, I'm I'm, I'm trusting y'all Ravens, then Lamar Jackson will not be playing. What we always say early on in the week, um, like on Monday, for instance, if Monday it comes out that a player's hurt or a player could miss practice or whatever, okay, cool, whatever. But Wednesday, Wednesday is when they first start practicing during the week. If somebody does, if somebody doesn't practice on Wednesday, okay, cool, we'll see. If they don't practice on Thursday, it's like, oh, okay, cool, we'll see. But Friday. Friday is usually the tail day for if that person is going to play or not. And Lamar Jackson didn't practice on Wednesday. He didn't practice on Thursday. And he didn't practice today being Friday. And and each day, each day it gets, it's been worded different. Like first with John Harbaugh on uh, Wednesday, he said about Lamar Jackson, oh, well, uh, well, maybe it was Tuesday he said it. Either way, because when he spoke to the media last He's like, oh, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he, he didn't practice. He's, uh, he's day-to-day. And Greg Roman said, oh, well, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see how things go with Lamar Jackson. We'll, we'll see how it goes. He, yeah, he's day-to-day. And I, um, I, and I know, again, like I said, I have no problem in the whole strategy element of it against the Packers. Like, you don't want to give up too much information to the team that you're getting ready to face. But, like, they, they look at all these practice reports. They, 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 they see this stuff. They see Lamar Jackson is not practicing, so it's like, okay, yeah, we're we not going to prepare for Lamar. We'll have some stuff ready just in case Lamar Jackson does play, but they not, they ain't even preparing for Lamar Jackson. They know it's going to be Tyler Huntley. And, of course, because when you watch the Ravens' moves, again, action speaks so much louder than words. And, yeah, Lamar Jackson is technically day-to-day, but the actions are he didn't practice. So he's probably going to be out. Then you could say, oh, yeah, Harbaugh said the other day, yeah, we, we expect Lamar Jackson to play against the Packers. But if he can't go, then we'll go with Tyler Huntley. Okay, cool. But then that, that's his words. But then actions. What were the actions that followed that? They signed Josh Johnson. Not to the practice squad. Mm-mm. Nope. They signed Josh Johnson to the active roster. They signed him from Jets practice squad. To the active roster. Now, me, I didn't think they were going to be signing any other quarterbacks. I thought that they were going to just call up Chris Trevler. I thought they were going to call him up since he's currently on their practice squad. But boy, was I all the way wrong about that one. And my guy Skeptical, he made a really good point on Twitter yesterday. He's saying, well, with the Ravens, this uh, them bringing in Josh Johnson, this just sets them up for the long haul. It sets them up for the long run. Just in case they have any uh, they, these crazy COVID outbreaks like they had last year and the Browns are going through it. Well, not even just the Browns, but just NFL wide is going through right now just in case that happens. And of course, just in case of injury, which they are going through right now when it comes to uh, Lamar Jackson. So it's him. If he misses the game again, Tyler Huntley and with Tyler Huntley, this thing We've been saying it all week. It can go two ways. And hopefully it goes in the way that's more in Tyler Huntley's favor. Because in his previous two games, these teams were planning on facing Lamar Jackson, the Bears and the Browns. 
Bears gang Lamar sick. Browns gang Lamar got hurt. Then came Ty. They weren't game planning for Tyler Huntley. But now on the flip side of that, Tyler Huntley wasn't game planning for them either. And the Ravens weren't game planning for Tyler Huntley to face them either. So as much as it could work in the, the benefit of these opposing teams, like, all right, now we got a game plan for Tyler Huntley. Now we got it. And it's crazy because multiple uh, Packers people that I've spoken to, I've got another video with another Packers guy coming out uh, later on, but they both said the same exact thing about mobile quarterbacks. And they said, man, we, we, we hate when the Packers go against mobile quarterbacks. And this season, even if just looking at those two games alone that Tyler Huntley played, this season, Tyler Huntley has been more mobile than Lamar Jackson. Again, you could tell Lamar has been off. I've seen some people saying, well, ever since he did that flip in the end zone in the Chiefs game, that's when everything just was out of whack. That's when he hurt himself, and he hasn't been the same since. I can't agree or disagree with that. What I would have to do is actually watch. I have to watch how he was running in the Chiefs game, uh, and then I had to watch how he was running in every game after that to see if that really seems to be the case. I have to see. Because there was a day um, following that Chiefs game in practice where Lamar, they said he missed it because of a, a rest day. He was sore, something like that, I believe. But then he came back like the following day. But so, hey, it, it could be it. But I would just have to see it for myself. Um, but it is something to think about, something to consider. Uh, is that the case? Hey, we'll, we'll never know. Well, actually, we might. Because, uh, you know, a lot of this injury news, it comes out after the season. After the season. Uh, unless it's Baker Mayfield. And he's like, man, I'm playing with this bad shoulder. I'm playing with this bad wrist. I'm playing with these bruised ribs. and other. But anyway. <laughs> so with Lamar, um, again, long term. It's got to be long. It has to be. Ravens have to apply long term thinking to his injury situation. I've seen some people say, oh, man, these players these days. Wow. They're so soft. They're selfish, man. Lamar, oh, you got a You got a sprained ankle, man. When we played football, we played. If we had a bruise or sprained ankle, we just played on that bad boy. We went out there, laced him up and still played. And that's fine. If that's what you did in your day, no problem. But you also weren't playing professionally, one, and you were not getting ready to get a $400, $500 million contract in the next two years. You weren't on the verge of getting that. So I think the situations are far different from one another. <laughs> because you... I don't think those are really comparable situations, my friends. You can try to compare, but they're, they're not really comparable. But that's fine. Whatever you did in your day, you made plays on that bruise or sprained ankle, whatever it might have been. Good for you. Happy for you. Hope you won that state championship with your school or whatnot, your high school, your middle school, whatever school. But anyway, um, Ravens, gotta, they got to play it smart with this one. And again, it seems like they're trending toward that, but I just hope that they stay on that trend. And again, under Harbaugh's tenor, as long as he's been the head coach, again, Friday has been the day that's been the telltale day. That's the day that lets you know, all right, this play ain't practice Friday. Yeah, they probably ain't playing. Now, there's been some, um, some, what's the word? Uh... There's been some, uh, I can't think of the word right now. Oh, I cannot think of the word right now where there's something that usually happens, but then there's some cases where something out of the norm happens and what's usual doesn't end up happening. I really can't think of the word. Uh, but anyway, there's been some times when he's went against that, but it's very far and few. So don't expect him to play. Um... We won't, obviously won't know for sure until, uh, you know what would be really petty though? But I was going to say we won't know for sure until about an hour and a half before the game. So that would be at 2.55 because uh, 90 minutes, that's 90 minutes before the game. That's when the, uh, the actives and actives comes out. But what would be really, and, but they can't do this because they can't afford to waste a roster spot. But Ravens are a very petty team. So it would not surprise me if they actually did it. But 
What would be crazy and, and crazy petty if the Ravens, oh boy, that would just be another level. But again, Ravens can be another level of petty sometimes. What would be crazy petty if the Ravens, they waited and waited like they've been doing. Because again, you got to keep the Packers guessing, I guess. But if they waited and waited and waited. And then on the injury report, on the actives, inactives, Lamar was active. <laughs> That would be so petty. Oh, that would be so petty if, if if he was active. Oh my goodness, that would be something right there, man. And I I can't put it past the Ravens to do something like that again. The the roster is 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 tough spots with the roster because it's it's a it's, even though you lost like everybody, you got like fifty people on injury reserve and it's a fifty three man roster. But if the Ravens were to do something like that, oh boy. And I, I could really see them doing it. Mm, mm, mm. Not this week, though. Don't, don't do it this week. Say, say that for another time. Say that for preseason or something. But anyway, team, <laughs> team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Harbaugh will be speaking to the media. Uh, by the time you see this video, that presser may have already started. Uh, but Harbaugh will be speaking to the media. And I'm very interested to see how he words the situation with Lamar Jackson. If he actually says, oh, no, he, yeah, he's not going to play. He has, but I don't think he's going to say. I think what he's going to say, and I'm recording this. Uh, I'm recording this at 12-11. 12-11 um, p.m. 12 in the afternoon, obviously. But I, I expect Harbaugh to say, well, yeah, unfortunately, Lamar hasn't practiced all week, but he's going to be a game time decision. So... We'll see if that holds true or not, because I, I don't expect them to declare him out, especially if they've been doing this all week. I don't expect them to declare him out until, again, 90 minutes before where they officially say Lamar Jackson is inactive. It's crazy that this will be the first game. This will be the first game that Lamar Jackson misses due to injury. Yeah, because the only games that he's missed have been due to him being sick. Because that was the, the Bears game. Yeah, the Bears game. And that's it. I feel like there was another game, too. Well, he's gotten sick, but he's come, come back and practice and played. But, yeah, it was the Bears game. So, yeah, shout out to Lamar. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And like Lamar Jackson probably is going to be nine times out of ten for this game against the Packers on Sunday. I'm out. <laughs>